Thank you so much for listening to my Eurovision special. Thanks to David Monero for this Listen and Entertain production. And here's to another year of Eurovision music and memories. I'm super excited. It's going to be brilliant. And remember, your BBC Sounds app really is the hub for all your Eurovision needs. There's hours of playlists and special programs, and it's dead simple to find them. All you need to do is search Eurovision on BBC Sounds. That is it. And until we dance again, have a smashing week. This is Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker, and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at six o'clock. This is Nikki Cardwell. Liverpool is teeming with Eurovision fans from around the world for tonight's grand final, which kicks off in two hours' time. The popular song contest is being hosted by the UK on behalf of last year's winners Ukraine. Sweden and Finland are both seen as strong contenders for first place. Head of the contest, the Ukrainian Culture Secretary, Oleksandr Tukashenko, spoke to our arts correspondent, David Salito. What do you make of the uh, response of Liverpool? It's great, especially people. It's amazing people. It's very touchable to speak with them. Uh, they're not only very friendly, but very much supportive. Do you think Ukraine is being reflected here properly? Uh, quite well. But it depends whether we win or not. <laughs> <laughs> The RMT union has urged the government to hold a special summit to address the rail dispute. Passengers have faced more misery today with only limited services running because of the strikes. The rail delivery group, which represents train companies, has insisted that it's always open to talks with the union. President Zelensky has held a private audience with Pope Francis at the Vatican. It was their first meeting since Russia invaded Ukraine last year. The Pope told Mr Zelensky he was praying constantly for peace. Earlier, the Ukrainian leader held talks with Italy's political leaders who assured him of their full support. Our Europe regional editor, Paul Moss, explains. In many ways, this was very much a loving of a visit. When uh, Giorgio Maloney, the Italian prime minister, saw Mr Zelensky, they very publicly embraced each other. Crucially, she said the war would only end when all Russian troops had left all of Ukrainian territory. No sense of a compromise. The Italian president said it was an honour to have Volodymyr Zelensky come and visit them. Football and Southampton have been relegated from the Premier League after a 2-0 defeat to Fulham. Earlier, Leeds claimed what could be a crucial point in their relegation battle by drawing two all with Newcastle. Nottingham Forest did the same at Chelsea. Now... For many people approaching their 100th birthday, they may be hoping for a card from the King. But Annie Duplock, who's a thrill-seeking 99-year-old from Leicestershire, instead realised a lifelong dream of being part of a knife-throwing circus performance. Oliver Faramond reports. Annie Duplock worked for the Zippo Circus 30 years ago, helping to put up posters. With her 100th birthday on the horizon, she approached her old boss, asking to, this time, be part of the show. She said she had always wanted to have knives thrown at her, and at a performance in Coventry last night, her wish was granted. In footage online, Annie Duplock appeared calm as the knives flew past her. Speaking afterwards, she said she had really enjoyed the experience and was ready for the next one. And the weather, northwestern areas will be cloudy and rainy tonight. Low cloud mist and fog moving into central and eastern England. BBC News, it's three minutes past six. Tonight from eight, it's the grand final of the Eurovision Song Contest. Live from Liverpool. With Rylan and Scott Mills. On BBC Radio 2. Listen live on BBC Sounds. Now, Radio 2's All Request Eurovision Party with Richie Anderson. Yes, our Eurovision Super Saturday build-up continues. And the grand final is now so close, I can almost smell the glitter. I'm Richie Anderson, by the way. Hi. And this is your All Request Eurovision Party. And I hope your mood is dandy and your drink is shandy. Or, more appropriately, a Sam Cider or a Gina G and T. Anyway, this is a request show and I need your request. What do you want me to play? The lines are open. Uh, to get a song on the radio, you have to call, okay? You have to phone us. And it doesn't have to be a Eurovision song. It can be a big party tune. We just want